In this example, we want to determine whether this series conditionally or absolutely converges. So since this is a or this is an alternating series, then we're going to uh, apply the alternating series test to see if this series converges or not. So, okay, we're going to take the limit of the nth term here, the nth term being 1 over natural log n plus 1. Okay, since natural log is an increasing function, as n goes to infinity, the denominator will go to infinity. Therefore, uh, overall, this limit is going to approach zero. Okay. Secondly, okay, we need to show, okay, we need to show that the nth plus one term is less than or equal to the nth term. Okay, so the nth term, remember, is one over the natural log of n plus 1, whereas the nth plus 1 term is going to be, uh, we're going to substitute n plus 1 in for n, so that's going to give us the natural log of n plus 2. Okay, so we're going to have 1 over natural log of n plus 2 less than or equal to 1 over natural log of n plus 1. Okay, so this implies that the natural log of n plus 1 is going to be less than or equal to the natural log of n plus 1. Oh, I'm sorry, n plus 2. Okay, since natural log is an increasing function, right, therefore, and the argument, the argument here, okay, for n going from 1 to infinity, the argument here is bigger than the argument here. Therefore, this is a true statement, okay, because a natural log is an increasing, an increasing function. Okay, so this is, right, so this is true, okay. So the limit goes to zero, and the nth plus one term is less than or equal to the nth term. Okay, so now uh, we need to check to see if this is absolutely converging or not. So we're going to take the absolute value of the nth term. Okay, that's the bottom there is natural log of n plus 1. Okay. So that's going to give us 1 over natural log of n plus 1. Okay. All right, so what we can do here is we can use the, um, let's go ahead and use the direct, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the direct comparison test here, okay. Okay, so this series, okay, kind of resembles 1 over n, okay. All right. And 1 over n, we know, uh, we know this is this is the harmonic series which diverges. Okay. Just recall, remember the harmonic series. This is just one over n. It's just a, a p series, so p equals one. Okay. And so this is diverging. So, and so now we're going to apply. Okay, so we want to apply the direct comparison test. Okay, so since okay we chose this, so we ch we chose a series that's diverging. Okay. So let's call this, I'm going to call this term, I'm going to just go ahead and say this is the, I'm going to say this is the nth term, and this term here I'm going to call the b, the, uh, b term, okay, b sub n, okay, so we need to show, okay, okay, so we need to show because a sub n 
corresponds to a diverging series, so we need to show Okay, we need to show that a sub n is less than or equal to p sub n. Okay, because it's diverging. Okay, we don't want to use we don't want to we don't want to use a sub n as a as a bound. Okay. All right. So if the series, okay, so if this is true, okay, so if a sub n is less than or equal to b sub n, then that means that our original series is going to diverge okay so okay we have 1 over n okay less than or equal to 1 over the natural log of n plus 1 okay so this is the same as natural log of n plus 1 less than or equal to n so remember for our bounds for the, n is going from 1 to infinity in our original series. So this is a true statement. Okay. Right, this is true uh, because natural log increases a very increases at a slower rate than n. Okay, n is just a right n is a linear function. Okay. So this is true. So therefore Okay. So therefore, the series, original series is, well, the absolute value of original series is diverging. Okay. Okay, so we took the absolute value. We got one over the series of one over natural log n plus one and showed that the series diverges using the direct comparison test. So that means the original series is conditionally convergent. Okay. Okay, so Conditionally converges. Okay. All right. So that's what that's our result. Okay.